Hey everybody, it's Katie with katiecollenberg.com and I just wanted to talk a little bit today about a question that I get asked quite often. A lot of people ask me, how long have you been doing this? And oh my gosh, how can you remember all of this stuff about essential oils and what oil to use when and what to mix and all of these things? And it's so overwhelming. How do you, how do you remember all of this stuff? And honestly, it is no um, big trick. It is uh, not... Um, it is not as hard as it seems. Uh, one of it, one of the things is it's just repetition. You know, a lot of the oils are good for for certain things, whether it, it's skin or relaxation. And so, a lot of the oils I recommend over and over to people that have the same questions over and over. And so, that is easy to remember. But honestly, my absolute secret weapon that I use to remember all of these things or to be able to answer your questions about you know which oils to use or how to use them is my book and it is a simple thing that anybody can have and in fact I recommend it to everybody that I talk to and it's the essential life book and that's the one that I use and when I don't know something or when I want to look up a recipe or get some information it's the first place that I go to. So I'm going to show you my book today, and you can see a little bit about um, the research that I do and, and maybe be interested in getting your own. So I'm going to show you mine. So this is it right here, The Essential Life. And this one has been used quite a bit. I have some, I do get new ones that I give away sometimes when I have promotions but this is this one's mine and you can see it's got my name in it and I've also written in the cover all the generic names because this book is not written by doTERRA this book is all doTERRA information but they cannot use the specific do doTERRA names they use the generic names so what I did was I wrote the generic name and then the doTERRA name just so I can refer back to it so if in the book it says to use the calming blend um, then I know they're talking about serenity or if they're talking about the cellular complex I know they're talking about DDR prime so that's just a little cheat sheet for me one of my many little tricks I've got some tabs in here so I can look at specific things um, but basically this book was broken down to a few different things. In the in the front of the book is the quick reference guide. So let's say I just want to look up something really quick and easy. Oh, someone's asking me about um, dandruff. And so I'll look this up, and it'll give me several different options here. It'll tell me what it is. Dry, scaly material shed from the scalp. Lovely. And it'll give me a couple options. So cedarwood cleansing blend. Okay, so again, that's going to be the generic name. If I can't remember what cleansing blend is, I'll look in the front and I'll see that they are talking about purify. All right, they also uh, mention lavender, rosemary, and wintergreen. Um, those are just some of the options that are possible. And you can see they have like a little hand symbol here. The hand symbol means that you're going to use it topically. So sometimes they have a nose, which means you're going to use it aromatically, or a little drinking glass, which means you can do it internally. So these are the, the uh, little quick reference guide um, to show you what to try. Now a lot of people ask me, do I need to do all five of those? No. What I would always do is whichever ones I have are what I'll try. And if I don't have um, all of them I'll just use what I do have and then if it's if I'm not getting the results that I want then I might add one of those other oils to my monthly order and then I'll try that next time um, I also believe that they put these in order of which ones you should try first so I do tend to start you know with the ones in this column okay so that's that's my quick reference guide and you'll also see over here on the side it'll give you different um, pages in the book to read more. So if I'm looking at dandruff and I want to read more, I can go to page 264 and get some more information. So the next part of the book after 
the um, quick reference is the individual oil section. So here it has a page or two on every single one of the individual oils. Okay, a little picture of it. In case you didn't know, what the heck is clary sage? Well, look at that, it's a flower. In case you didn't know. And it'll tell you right there all about it. It's a flower, it's steam distilled. What's its main um, you know, chemical compounds? What are the properties? What you can find it in? And some safety precautions. Okay, and then on this page, it tells you all about how you can use it, the different things you can use it for, and at the bottom, this is all the research um, part of it. And I'll tell you a little interesting fact. Clary sage is derived from Latin meaning clear eyes. Medieval monks favored it for eye troubles. Well, there you go. There's your little tidbit for the day. So it'll have a page on every single one of the individual oils. I love this because sometimes I'll get an oil that I have no idea what it's for or what I can use it for or um, anything like that. And so I'll go in my book and say, huh, I just got dill oil. What can I do with it? And besides putting it in my ranch dressing, look at that. I can also use it for muscle spasms and nervousness, sugar addiction, and more. So that's how I figure out what I can use all of these oils for. So after the individual oils, then is the section on the blends. Now here is a little tidbit for you that I just learned recently after having this book for over a year. All of these uh, are the generic names, like I said. So this is the detoxification blend. All right. Now what I didn't realize was at the top of each one of these is a little circle. Oops, let me focus in on that. Is a little circle, and that circle, there we go, perfectly fits the stickers that go on the top of your bottles. Hmm, I don't think that's a coincidence. Nope. So what I did was I um, stole this trick, was to use the bottle stickers, and I actually put the sticker right in that little circle. So detoxification blend is Zendocrine. So now I don't even have to look in the front of the book. I've got it right there. Digestion blend, digest zend. I just put the sticker right there. Easy peasy. So each one of these, again, has a page on how you can use the blends. And of course, what are the ingredients in your blends? Okay, so that's all the, the blends. Now after that, it's going to go into different systems. So we have a page on athletes. We, so you have here our little tabs. This is all about athletes. And then we're going to talk about blood sugar and all the different recipes you can use for blood sugar and all the different um, chemical compounds and the, it's all the science behind why you would choose these oils for these reasons. Different conditions, which oils you can use for them. Again, it's a big book with a lot of information. Are you going to understand it all in one day? Of course not. It's going to take you a little bit of time. But as you look up each individual ailment, you start to remember. Now, the other thing that people ask is, well, there's a lot of information. How do you know which oils are the best? Well, a couple different things. If I haven't used them myself, um, I will go on to a couple of great um, Facebook pages that I am on, and I'll ask. I'll ask what other people have tried, and that is also a great way to find out more information. So this is all about eating disorders, immune and lymphatic system. So basically it goes through all different systems of the body. Stress, hmm, I think that one's an important one. I don't know anybody that doesn't deal with that. Women's health. So I will look in the book, I'll ask around, I'll get a like an overall feeling of which oils work best for different things. There's also recipes in this book. Oatmeal cookies, granola, apple pie filling, and all of these will have different oils suggested for the different recipes. So that's a lot of fun too. Um, how to make fermented foods and salads. So they'll have all of that first aid, um, and then look at that, a whole section for pets. A lot of people ask me, are they safe for pets? What can I use for my pets? Well, there you go. That's in the book too. There's also some great DIY projects, 
a whole section on the supplements. And then the end of the book is all oil composition and chemistry. Who wants to know about the science? Some people will never look at this part of the book. But this is all about each of the chemical compounds that are in the oils, which oils have which chemical compounds, and what they are good for. So there is a absolute science behind why they are choosing certain oils for certain reasons. And that's going to show you what that is. Blending and layering. So this is all like technical, um, how to use the oils, the best way to use them, and what's in them. So anyway, the very back of the book, of course, is your index. So you can also look up you know, what can I use for pregnancy? Well, of course, there's a lot of different things you can use for pregnancy. So they're going to have a lot of different numbers there. All right, so that is The Essential Life. Now, this book is what, um, what I use all the time. You can get this book on Amazon. You can get it at uh, oillife.com, um, either one of those places. It's about 25 to 27 dollars um, so definitely well 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 worth the money I've used this um, non-stop all the time so I hope that that was helpful to you I'll turn back here oops so I hope that was helpful to you I know a lot of people um, have asked me about what I use for get to get my information and, and that's my first my first go-to is the book so um, let me know if you have any more questions and let me know if you want uh, those links to uh, get the book for yourself I can f put that in the uh, comments below and also if you would like to be added to some of those Facebook groups that I mentioned um, where you can ask a, a much larger audience about your essential oil questions, please let me know and I can add you to some of those, um, some of those groups as well. So I hope you're having a great day and then that um, you let me know what I can do and uh, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye.